The year is 2024 and it feels like everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. From 12 year old kids to single moms, everyone is trying to be their own boss. And the coding space is no different. One in three developers wants to be an entrepreneur. And I know a lot of you watching this are also aspiring entrepreneurs. So what I would like to do in this video is just share a couple of things that I have learned in my entrepreneurial journey. Now, the first main lesson I wanted to talk about is to put business first. Here's what a lot of programmers or honestly in any field will do. They think to themselves, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to be an entrepreneur and start a business. So they get to coding thinking that that's the only thing that they need to do. They get to the finished product, they release it and no one buys their product. Why do you think no one bought their software? It's because they neglected the other parts of business. You see, once you decide to be an entrepreneur or business owner, whatever you want to call it, that should be your number one priority. You see, the standard programmer thinks like a programmer. They have to code, they have to finish some sort of feature for their company and just do the regular tasks with being a programmer. However, if you're a business owner that is also a programmer, you have like 30 or 40 things you have to worry about. Marketing, sales, employees, hiring process, all of those things on top of what you already have to manage. And what I've noticed with a lot of these programmers slash entrepreneurs is that they just totally neglect the business side when that should be their number one priority. And I can't lie, I still run in this to this day. I was trying to add this super complicated gradient feature that would have taken eight or nine hours at minimum. If I thought like a programmer, I would have said, okay, let's just get this feature done. I'm just gonna have to go into overtime. However, luckily I was able to stop myself from doing so. And I did some more productive tasks that would have pushed the business further. Now I'm lucky because I went into programming for business reasons, but if you've been programming for a long time, this might be extremely difficult for you to do, but just try your best to just put your business first. Okay. Focus on the things that matter. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is that business and coding is a process, not an event. Now I got this from the book unscripted by MJ DeMar. And simply put, what process not an event means is that it takes a shit ton of time to reach your results. This one was a hard one for me to learn because I always want to see the fast results. I want to get the most customers. I want to get to 10,000 subs, whatever it may be. However, we have to remind ourselves that anything that is worth fighting for has to be difficult. Easy games eventually get boring. And once you realize that it's a process, not an event, aka that it just takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, months, if not years to reach your goals, you put yourself in a frame of mind where you will work towards your goals. And I talk about this constantly, but when I was in the personal training industry, I always tried to get customers fast. I was always hoping for my YouTube videos to blow up. And I was thinking that this one thing over there would make me rich. That's an event thinking. And But what you want to do is think like a process. Think that I have to do this 10,000 times. I have to record 10,000 videos for me to get good. I have to code 100 days in a row to see, start seeing some progress. And once you think that way, progress becomes easy. Business becomes easy because you're thinking realistically. And the final thing I'd like to share is value. I'll tell you a secret. The number one reason we do stuff in life and what runs our capitalistic society is value. A business over here will hire a programmer because they find them valuable. They think to themselves, oh, we can get this feature done because of them. We can get this feature done and we can make more money, right? And to the programmer, they find working at this business valuable because they can make more money. And by working there, they can gain more experience, AKA the value from that thing. However, the main difference between the programmer's value versus the business value is the type of work that they are doing. The programmer's value is the work that he does for the business, while the business's value is the actual product that they are giving to the customers. And to think like a real entrepreneur and go away from being just a programmer to being a business owner that's also a programmer, start providing value like a freaking business owner. Make something that people value rather than just something that programmers might value. And just always remind yourself that value Value is at the core of what everyone buys. I bought this mic because the value of it, which was the good sounding mic, was valuable to me. And by providing value to people is where you will make your money. And to think like a business owner is to provide value to the customer rather than just to the company. But anyways, we made a little mess here, but I hope that you found value in this video and hopefully I motivated you to become an entrepreneur as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please, please, please like and subscribe. It literally costs you nothing, but it means the world to me. But yeah, I hope I clarified some things about the entrepreneurial journey of a coder. Happy coding, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.